Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So continuing on with my kind of beginner's guide to a genre of books. So today's topic is going to be crime, like murder mystery detective novels. So this is probably one of my favorite series ever. I love these books. I, this is what really got me into reading like this genre in particular. So I have a handful of books like a standalone and a couple series that I recommend you go checking out if you're interested in getting into this genre. I will kind of preface this and say that these are kind of more towards adult readers so if you're a little bit younger I don't recommend reading these until you think you're actually like old enough to read these. I say I started reading the Rizzolan Isles series when I was 15 or 16 but just be aware like these do deal with some dark subject matter so just be aware of that going into it um, but without further ado let's get started. So this is the only standalone book that I have in here and it is The Bone Garden by Tess Gerritsen and this is a book that I read last year in October which was perfect so if you're looking for a good Halloween read highly recommend you check this book out. Basically it follows a dual storyline where we follow Julia who's just moved into this old century home and she's doing some garden work and she uncovers a body that's been buried there that they think has been there since the 1830s. Um, so they're kind of, while she's kind of investigating, trying to figure out the history of the owner of the house that she lives in. The story also flashes back to Boston in the 1830s where we get introduced to Rose whose sister has just died during childbirth and she's left to take care of her um, her sister's baby that um, she's stuck with. Then we also get introduced to Norris Marshall who is in medical school and but because he is kind of grew up with like from a poor environment he to earn his like t tuition for the school the school kind of forces him to kind of dig up graves that for new people that are have been recently buried to use that as cadavers and his and Rose's fates kind of get intertwined when there's a series of murders that take place and they are the likely suspects so they kind of have to figure out what to do and then that also kind of ties into what the body Julia found in her backyard so this was an amazing book I honestly could not put it down it was very eerie and creepy but it did have a good sense of mystery to it as well I love how Tess Gerritsen is one of my favorite authors as you'll find out later on in this video but she is a medical doctor herself so a lot of the terminology in here is accurate because I'm in the medical field so it's like ha I know what that means but she does a really good job of seamlessly weaving in the Boston like from 1830s to Boston present day which I thought she did a really good job and just I could completely picture the what Boston looked like during this time she painted such a good gothic picture of what it like could have been and it was just really good it is a little bit gruesome i will say so just be aware of that um but i highly recommend that you check this book out it is really good if you're looking kind of getting into a this kind of genre but you don't want to necessarily commit to a series i highly recommend you start here it is really good and i think a lot of you will really enjoy it and it's also a very good halloween read so if you're looking for something spooky check this book out so i did tell you that i would mention tess garrett's again and this is a series that i that really got me into this genre it was recommended to me by a the guy who owned the bookstore in our town that we used to live in and it is the rizzoli and isles series by tess garrettson as well and basically this follows two women rizzoli who is a homicide detective and dr isles who is the medical examiner and just the cases that they go on and all that and what I really like about it is that each book you think like the first like this book is amazing but the books just get better and better I'm really excited because her the next book in the series comes out the second week of August so I'm really pumped for that so I'm really excited but the books just keep getting better and better and like you like you never actually figure out who is the murderer in this like until the very end this is like i said the book series that i used that really got me into this genre i remember i would read it for a week and then on friday my mom would pick me up from school and we would go get the next book from the bookstore in town so this book is really good it is loosely based on the tnt series that just finished airing last year it's very loosely based so be aware of that so it's still a really good series so I highly recommend it you check it out maybe get the first season 
from the library because it, it was like a summer show so there's only like 13 episodes so you can get through them really easily but I highly recommend you check this book series out and also the TV show as well. Even though they're very loosely based I think you will enjoy both aspects that the, the book and TV show have to offer so this is probably on my top list for kind of crime series that I highly recommend that you check out. And then also kind of continuing on with like TV shows that are based on these book series. I also have the Temperance Brennan series by Kathy Reichs, who um, also inspired the Fox TV show Bones, which just ended, which is like my all time favorite show. Um, but this book also funnels Dr. Temperance Brennan, very loosely based, like the only thing they share is the job and the profession. Um, the, only thing they, the only thing that these books have in common with the TV series is Temperance Brennan like the name and her profession like everything else is very different but I really like this series as well it does have ties to Quebec so it's nice to see kind of Canadian like shown in here like Canadian culture kind of intertwined in here as well because I am Canadian so it's always nice to see but um yeah this book series is really good she's a forensic anthropologist and some of these are like cold cases and they're just very unique and different this book got left out of my car had the window open so it's a little looking a little sad it's well loved I will say but this book series is really good I highly recommend you check these out if you're a fan of the Bowman series just be aware that these books like the book and TV character are highly different. None of the really characters are similar, so just be aware of that going into it. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh my goodness. And then I was just like, no, these are completely different characters altogether. So just be aware of that going into it. But I highly recommend you check this series out. It is really good. And I what I double majored for my undergrad and one of them was anthropology. So like the forensic side of me like really enjoys these books because it's, it's a little nerdy, but I really enjoy them. So this was another book series that I read in high school and it was the Case Scarpetta series by Patricia Cornwell. This is like a classic that started out in the 90s and she has like a dozen books. Um, she does like one thing I will say just be aware is like after maybe like 12 or 13 books it changes from Kate Scarpetta's perspective to a narrated like first person or third person so it's a little it switches it up a bit but I really love this series they're very eerie and there's like one criminal in here that we get introduced to that kind of plays a role in future books which is like really creepy but I really love this series it's very dark and what I really like about it is that she like she's a medical examiner who works with this other detective who's like cranky but and they always bicker all the time but you can tell that they're really good friends so I like kind of reading from that perspective and how he's all cranky but he secretly really cares about her and they care about each other not in like a loving relationship way but in a friendship way so I really like that aspect and we also get introduced to like other like characters in here like Kay Scarpetta's niece and it's really neat. I love these books. They're very dark. I will say to just be aware and graphic but I really love these. I read them all through high school and I just love them so yeah. So this next one is one that I'm pretty sure a lot of you are aware of and it is the uh, Corner and Strike series by Robert Gelbreth who is a pseudonym for JK Rowling and this is her like crime detective series like private investigator who follows Cormoran and Strike um, who's the main character and his assistant Robin and so I will say the first two books were okay they didn't blow me out of the water but they were very good but this third book that came out a couple years ago Career of Evil was like you could tell she was building up to this book and it was just amazing like I gave me a book hangover like it's almost 500 pages and I finished it in a matter of days like that's how good it was and it left on such a cliffhanger that like I cannot wait for the next one to come out there's a title for it but there's no release date yet so I'm holding on to it by a thread to see what happens but it is like when I was when I found out that it was JK Rowling who wrote this I was a little surprised at how like coarse the language was and just how graphic it was so just be aware of that if you are a fan of JK Rowling but you're a little bit younger maybe wait a little bit to read the like this series um but overall, like I said, it was really good. If you didn't, if you were like iffy about the first book and the second one, just push through to get to this one because you can tell the series really takes off from here and I couldn't recommend it more. So these last two are books that I started reading a couple months ago. So they're only the first in the series, but I can, um, continue, plan on re continuing on with them once I purchase the books but I'm waiting till I kind of finish a couple books on my TBR but the first one is The Girl in the Ice by Robert Brizenda which follows it's just like the detective Erica Foster series and basically 
Erica Foster has recently been transferred to the London detective like homicide unit and she kind of has a dark past where her we kind of don't really know the details of it yet and I won't spoil it for you but they kind of deal with crime. This one the first book that I read um, they cover a girl who is part of a very wealthy family has found in the ice and it kind of leads to something bigger like has her they think her death has like a bigger meaning to it and maybe part of something bigger than they have all expected but because the pet the family that she's from is very powerful and affluent it kind of puts bumps in the roads on what they can and cannot do but I really love this Erica is such a unique character and I she's quickly become one of my favorites she's really unique and what I like about this series because it is fairly new it's like unlike the other ones that kind of started out in the 90s they're a little bit dated in terms of technology but this one started out in the 2010s so it's fairly recent in terms of like their pop culture references and just technology overall so I really like that and I cannot wait to continue on with the series I've heard nothing but great things so there's only like three or four of these out yet so you can go check it out and it's just you can like get caught up easily but yeah I highly recommend you check this book out it is really good and lastly this is the last book that I'm gonna mention and it is Still Life by Louise Penny which is for the Chief Inspector Gamache series and I've only read the first one and I think there's maybe six seven or eight I don't know there's quite a few of these out already but what I really like about this one in particular what makes it stand stand out for me is that unlike the other crime novels where the detectives are very arrogant and rude Inspector Gamache is very soft-spoken. He listens. He loves his wife. He doesn't cheat on her. He often calls to her to her advice and he admits when he is wrong and what, that's what I really like. He's really unique and I can't wait to learn more about his past. We get little timbits about it um, in this one so I cannot wait to uncover more as I kind of get the new books later on. And also this book also takes place in Canada so that is really good. I'm Canadian so getting little timbits of Canadian culture it's always nice just like I was like haha I know what that is but most Americans vote which I really appreciate and this author is really good this one the first one follows um, on Canadian Thanksgiving a body of an elderly woman in three pines has been discovered they think it might just be a kind of freak accident like hunting accident but Inspector Gamache thinks it's something more to it that meets the eye and the author just did a really good job of painting a like picture of this town like I it kind of reminded me of Stars Hollow in a sense and like you get to meet all the different people in this town and it was just like I wanted to live there like that's how much I really enjoyed it so I highly recommend if you're looking for something this is like an also really good series um it's not as graphic as the other ones like the the other ones I mentioned this one's a little bit more on the softer side it's still like violent but it's not as bad as the other ones so I highly recommend that you check this series out it is so good all these series I highly recommend so yeah so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what some of your favorite crime series are so yeah I will see you guys next time bye guys